Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I've been asked uh, by a few people to just review what a configuration profile is and how it works. So here we are, we've got a trace file open on the screen. And here, I'm going to stretch this guy up a bit. And what we're going to do is uh, change the way the screen looks and save that as a configuration profile. So we're going to give that a try. Here's Edit, Configuration Profiles, or Shift Control A in the future. And that just went off screen. Let me drag that back in. Here we are. And I'm going to call this new profile uh, Plain Vanilla. And it's going to be a display without all the default stuff. And here's what I mean by that. I'm going to turn off the colors. I'm going to turn off the auto update. I'm going to turn off time display format and make it milliseconds and displayed packet. Okay, so I've changed that. I'm going to turn off bytes and I'm going to turn off details. And there you go. And that's called plain vanilla. That's my profile. So now if I wanted to go back to the default, all I need to do is two ways of doing this. Edit configuration profile. Again, that went off screen. Let me just go back to default. OK. And there you are. Or down here on the bottom, I can just click that, and there's a little box that appeared. You can't see all of it, and again, it says default. Uh, let me try this again. Nope, you won't see it all. Default and plain vanilla. And when I click that, there you go. So again, edit configuration profile, default, and edit configuration profile, and back to plain vanilla. The other things that this affects are things like coloring rules. So if you had any coloring rules, you might have specific rules for VoIP or uh, measuring latent sensitive applications like Citrix and whatnot. So you can actually have different coloring rules with your configuration profile. So you might call a configuration profile VoIP and have all the rules for that. That's it. Hope that helps. Have a good day. Bye for now.